up guys so what we're going to do today is a little last minute um impromptu one nighter <laughs> stargazing kind of thing and i'm definitely taking book spray but we're going to shoot it on the gopro 9 which i haven't used the old gopro i had which was a three i think yeah i never used it so it's taking me a little bit to figure this thing out because it has so many options this gopro does but we're gonna we're gonna head up the mountain and we're gonna use a really big telescope you see that it's huge guys some really cool photos on this camping trip so stay tuned see you in a minute i don't know if you'll be able to see this or not but the uh clouds are resting directly on top of the mountain where i'm headed right now so hopefully they'll clear out or we'll get just above them and uh we'll get some good photographs We're gonna set the uh, telescope up. We got a really good view of this side of the sky, which we'll be able to see Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, the moon. The moon, and Jupiter, and Saturn will be out of the way, so we don't have a lot of light pollution um, for Mars. What really sucks is this telescope weighs about 75 pounds. I've got a torn ligament in my shoulder should i be doing this mm -mm. am i going to yeah totally we're going to get it out here because i could set it up there but we've got these trees right here that are in the way and i don't want to lose track because of some stupid tree um so we're gonna get set up out here and uh shoot some cool footage oh mercy i'm out of shape I think having that heart procedure recently didn't help either, but she's here. Um, a bunch of crap fell off of it on the way down here. So I gotta go back up here and, and get it, put it back on. So I'm gonna do that now. We're one step closer, one step closer. All right, so this is a Mead LX 200 10 inch uh, Schmidt Cassegrain. Probably saying that incorrectly, but that's what kind of telescope it is. Um, super easy to use. It is big, it's bulky, but it has the auto start guide feature right now. It's finding home and figuring out where it's at uh, according to space. So there's a few things I got to program, like what time exactly it is, and if we're under daylight savings time, what area I'm in. That kind of stuff, just so that it'll auto track to what we want to look at the fastest. Um, so I'm going to finish setting this up and then we'll, uh, we'll be back to looking at some cool stuff here shortly. Unfortunately, a cloud has descended upon our, stock, our spot. So I don't know how long it's going to hang out. But you can see, you know, I don't know how much you, you can see in this camera, but. We got a cloud here and then it's rolling down the hill behind me. So basically coming from like boom, blowing rock banner up that area. Um, things change pretty quick with higher altitudes. But my GPS signal is also not working. So what I'm gonna have to do is update the software and see if that will fix this bad boy. So I'm gonna work on that right quick. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, to get this fixed. Probably can't see a lot, but it's been about an hour. 
and I'm updating all the software. I'll turn this around here. Woo! I'm updating all the software so that I can get this thing to work. And uh, it's taking a while. I'm going to have to install these drivers for different cables. Not connecting to the unit. Yada, yada, yada. Maybe it'll work now. Let's we'll see. All right, well, I'm sitting in a very large cloud right now. So that means I can't look at any stars at the moment. I'm hoping, because we're in the mountains, that'll clear out like it normally does. The weather's so unpredictable. And uh, we'll be able to get out there and at least get a video of Mars, which would be super cool. So my thoughts on this GoPro. I like the fact it's so portable and easy to like hold, maneuver, hit one button, it's ready to rock and roll. It's pretty dope. Now, how the quality is going to be, I don't know. This thing will shoot up to 5K, which is pretty crazy. Um, I don't even think my computer would process 5K video, so I highly doubt I'm going to be doing a lot of 5K stuff in the immediate future. But I do like the Super View, and I'm shooting in 2K right now and um, I think I can handle processing 2k footage uh, I think I'm in a super view let me look all right so we got the moon there to the right of it you got Saturn Jupiter and Mars over there I'm not sure what you're gonna be able to see problem is I can't see it because this lens right here it's so fogged up. You see that? Heck, the lens on the, the GoPro is fogged up. Let's see if I can clean it off. Okay, there we go. Maybe you can see this now. Moon, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars. Um, so I thought about unfogging it. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going we're gonna to try it. You know? Might as well just try it. So, definitely making it worse. 100% worse. I need to get closer. Oh, what is it doing? You know, I don't know if I'm messing it up. I'm it out. Oh, look, we got a spot. I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere, people. I do not recommend that you do this to your telescope. But I really want to get a picture of, the, of Mars you can actually see. I don't know to do that. It's aggravating. Let's just uh, see what happens here. I just came back up to the van. I've been out messing with the telescope and it's not, uh, the GPS is not working, the antenna on it, which is fine 
because I can manually track everything. But uh, I tried to update it. That didn't happen. Uh, I think the RS, let's see, it's the RS-232 port. It connects to a USB on the laptop. That cable either messed up or there's an internal battery in the telescope that, that keeps the signal affixed to the GPS that I'm going to have to look at. But either way, I'm sitting in the middle of a cloud, so I, I can't, you know, I can't do anything anyway. So I have got a fire started, and I'm going to set my chair up, and uh, i got boxes everywhere. The van's a little bit on the full side right now. <laughs> I just checked the antenna. I was able to pick up 64 TV stations up here, just off of antenna. 64. So if you ever come up 105, clean this off. If you ever come up 105 and just get you a cheap antenna, oh, I got that covered, stick your TV and you just want to keep the kids busy or whatever uh it'll work just fine so i'm gonna go back out here and sit by the fire for a little bit and enjoy some time out here in nature so we'll talk to you in a little bit You ever seen these in the gas station? <coughs> I just, oh my, I just tried one. <coughs> oh, they're called spicy, <coughs> they're called spicy quail eggs. <sighs> I wasn't prepared for this. I really wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that at all. <clears throat> They're uh they're not spicy at all. I would highly recommend picking up some at your earliest convenience. They're delicious. Mm. Oh, again, they're delicious. Um, you should get some. They come in a oh god. They come in a in a jar like this be sure to be sure to check them out at your local gas station holy cow if you guys can see the the fog plagued this last night so bad it's
So I got the telescope loaded up. Whew, I'm so out of shape, it's ridiculous. But I want you to just look how beautiful it is. This is just, North Carolina is such an amazing and beautiful state. We got a little bit of everything here, it's wonderful. And I really enjoyed making today's video. I'm glad you guys got to join me. I really, really appreciate those of you who have liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel. That helps out a ton. Gives me a little extra motivation to just keep on filming. And, uh, Hopefully we'll be able to make some more cool stuff soon. I know it's not the best content, but I'm learning and it's I'm having a blast doing it. So I appreciate you guys. So until next episode of the Van Lander, um, try to stay cool and stuff. Almost like me. Just try. Try really hard. <laughs>